Let me introduce to you the brand new FX DRS platform. A platform built from the ground up to meet the needs of the most demanding shooters out there. A simple yet sophisticated design allowed us to create a high-end air gun like you've never seen before. So let me tell you everything you need to know in this video about the FX DRS platform and answer some questions in the meantime uh, that some of you might have since the launch. We know you're all very eager to get one into your hands for yourself, but in the meanwhile, while we ship them out to your dealers, let's address the FX DRS Classic from the back to the front and all the features it has to offer. A lot to talk about, so let's get started with the FX DRS. The FX DRS platform, a lot to talk about, so let's start off with some basics. The FX DRS platform is available in two different versions. On one hand, you got a classic, and on the other hand, you have the pro model of the FX DRS. The classic is available in two different stock options. On one side, you have the very beautiful Minelli Walnut stock, which is available in two different grades. And then on the other hand, you have the very comfortable soft touch synthetic stock, completely crafted by FX in-house. And then the ACC uh, chassis by MDT, of course, is specially reserved for the pro version of the FX DRS. But don't you worry, if you would like to swap out later on, we got all the different stock options available as accessories as well. Of course, the one I have right here is the 500 millimeter classic in that very nice synthetic soft touch stock, completely designed in-house by FX. Very smooth, very comfortable to shoulder, just the right proportions in every place, a little bit more skinny at the front, a little bit more uh, meaty at the back with some nice beautiful flowing lines. On the other hand, you of course have the ACC chassis by MDT for the pro version, which is your ultimate competition rig that is, has perfect ergonomics, balance and reliability. Not that the DRS Classic isn't perfectly balanced as you can see right here, even with that short 500 millimeter barrel. When we talk about calibers and barrel lengths for the FX DRS platform, the Classic and the Pro is available in a 177, 22 caliber and a 25 caliber. Barrel length ranging from 500, 600 or 700 millimeters and all the different barrel lengths are available as separate accessories if you would like to upgrade later on, as well as a slug power kit. So with some of those basics covered, let's take the FX DRS Classic here in front of us, address it from the back to the front with all the exposed features and some of the more hidden features some of you had questions about since the launch. Throughout the video, I will also address some of the parts that can be upgraded as we wanted to keep the FX DRS as affordable as possible in a very comfortable price range for everyone. Therefore, the FX DRS has everything you need and nothing you don't need. So you can tailor it exactly to the way you want it and don't have to pay for parts you anyway are not going to use. Starting at the back, we got a nice rubber non-adjustable butt piece, which offers a nice level of grip and fits comfortable into the shoulder. Right in front of it, you have the cheek comb, which is at a perfect height for most shooters out there, getting you in line with your optics mounted to your FX DRS. Now, before advancing to the heart and the block of the DRS itself, let's take a look at the bottom of the stock, which houses our trigger unit. The trigger unit by FX, very famous, adjustable in just every way possible with a nice bladed trigger will suit most of the shooters out there. We know some of you always like to have just that little bit more and therefore we offer as an upgrade a true match grade trigger for the FX DRS, which can be set up even lighter and more crisp than the original one. Just above the trigger on the right side of the action, you have a nice uh, safety, which can easily be toggled on or off with a flick of a finger. Moving up from the trigger, we come to the heart of the FX DRS and that is the action block. When taking the FX DRS out of its stock, you can just see how minimalistic but yet sophisticated the FX DRS really is. Looking at it very minimalistic doesn't mean we cut any corners and it still has all the features you come to expect from a real high-end air gun. It is very easy to maintain, very easy to work on and has very few O-rings to go with it. Taking a look at the top of the FX DRS block, you can see we have put in an 11 mm dovetail rail so you can enjoy the lowest mounting option possible for your optic on your FX DRS. But if 11 mm dovetail rail isn't for you, we have some one piece Picatinny mounts available as an upgrade. You can just simply slide on the top of the FX DRS and they are available in two different versions. You got a low and a high one with each MOA incline built in to it. For those who are curious, the 11mm dovetail rail is level and has no MOA built into it. 
Looking on the right side, you have the very smooth side lever cocking arm. Just very enjoyable to use. There is no play in it. It is super silky smooth, just very enjoyable to use. Although the complete FX DRS line is ambidextrous when it comes to uh, stock options, the cocking lever is not reversible to the left side. So sorry lefties for that, but it was just not possible to incorporate everything into that small package. Right in front of the smooth side lever cocking arm, we come to the breech opening or the magazine opening. The FX DRS comes with a newly designed mini magazine, still holding enough shots to get you by and optimized to be used with 40 grain slugs in 22 caliber. So all the good stuff cranked into a very small package. The newly designed mini magazine allows you to mount your scope as low as possible to the bore to be used with the 11 mm dovetail rail or one with the upgradable Picatinny rails we offer. You can still use the older style high capacity magazines, but then you have to make sure you have high enough scope mounts for the 11 mm dovetail rail not to interfere with the magazine. When turning the FX DRS around, you can see a very small pressure gauge right here, which indicates the pressure in your air tank. On the FX DRS, very cleverly done, the air tank is wrapped around the barrel and therefore making that barrel super stiff. You can just hold it by the barrel, wiggle with it and it won't cause any point of impact shifts. By wrapping the uh, air tank around the barrel, we are able to eliminate that big bottle that you normally have on the rifle and therefore create a very nice and sleek look like the FX DRS. Optimizing the complete air tank from the back all the way to the front with a one and a half UNF connection at the front to mount your favorite moderator to quiet it down if you need to. The aluminum tube that comes standard on the FX DRS is allowed to be filled to 230 bar while the carbon fiber one that is available as an upgrade can be filled to 250 bar and will give you an increased shot count of about 30%. Now by wrapping around the air tank around the barrel, optimizing it from the back to the front, we didn't have a place to put the plenum. So we cleverly engineered it and disguised it as one of the box magazines you can see right here at the bottom. The box magazines or the plenums are available in two different sizes. You have a high power one and a super high power one. The classic standard comes with the high power one while the pro model uh, comes with the super high power one. There are a few models in 25 caliber that come standard with the super high power one in order to get the pellets or the slugs up to speed. The very beauty of this thing is that that plenum is very easy to swap out. Uh, it just has four screws, no complicated procedures to swap out to one of the different ones available in our accessory list. Now let's talk about regulators for the FX DRS platform. The FX DRS uses one regulator, not two, and there is a very good reason for that. The FX DRS uses our new line of regulators with a brass piston inside, and that solves the problem of needing to have two regulators to bring the volume or the high pressure volume down to a more workable, manageable pressure for the block itself. The, high, the brass piston regulators, they're so good, there is no uh, need anymore for that second regulator and they can handle it just fine. But where can you adjust that regulator on the FX DRS? Well, the regulator is located underneath the stock in front of the action block where you can adjust it. I know it's not externally adjustable, but we did this on a purpose not to mess up the nice flowing lines of the FX DRS. Some of you might wonder, but where can we see a readout of the, F of the uh, regulator pressure on the FX DRS? Because there is only one gauge that displays the pressure in your air tube. Well, on the plenums itself, you have an option to mount, for instance, a side angled manometer bracket where you can mount a gauge and therefore monitor the regulator pressure on your FX DRS. Besides that brass piston, the FX DRS also comes with a very clever modular impulse valve design, meaning that the valves on the FX DRS can be swapped out depending on what kind of setup you have. You have a light valve, you have a heavy valve, both are available as separate accessories if later on you would like to swap out um, different barrel lengths, different plenums and things like this, depending on what kind of power you would like to get out of your DRS. So standard, some of them come with a light one, some of them come with a heavy one. Now, while we're still on this side of the rifle, some of you might wonder what's that hole here right in the middle of the stock. Now, in order, as with most of the things, we didn't want to disturb any of the nice flowing designs and keep everything as minimalistic as possible. We didn't want to put any big foster connections with big openings into the stock. And therefore, we have opted for a pin probe style filling. This comes standard with your FX DRS. It is a quick disconnect, so it easily connects to your hoses. 
and therefore it is simply put into the side of the stock, fill up your rifle, degas your line, take it out, and that's all there is to it. Now something we still need to talk about is how to adjust the hammer spring tension on the FX DRS. Some of you had a question regarding this as there is no outside quick tune system as you have seen on some of the recent rifles we have released. But on the FX DRS to keep all the lines clean and everything we have done it with an allen key through the back of the action block. Simply putting more or less pressure on that hammer spring and therefore adjusting your hammer spring tension. A very foolproof system and just works as well. And that completes the full tour of the FX DRS Classic with all the features it has to offer. As I mentioned before, simple yet sophisticated in design, still packed with a lot of high-end features you come to expect from a high-end air gun with enough power to suit all your needs while looking like nothing else on the market. Oh, and did I mention already how featherweight light this rifle really is? The version I have in my hands, the 500mm synthetic one, weighs just about 2.2 kilograms, so perfect for all your offhand shooting and hunters out there. The FX DRS, an awesome rifle platform at an awesome price point that will be very hard to beat. Bye.